In this video we'll briefly discuss what is lecinopril, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Lecinopril is an antihypertensive and vasodilator drug. It belongs to a category of drugs called angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors. It competitively inhibits angiotensin-converting enzyme, preventing conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which is a potent vasoconstrictor. Clinical consequences include decreased sodium and fluid retention, decreased blood pressure, and increased diuresis. It is used in the management of hypertension, congestive heart failure and myocardial infarction. It is available as 2.5 mg, 5, 10, 20, 30 and 40 mg tablets. The usual initial dose for hypertension is 10 mg per day, which can be increased to 20 to 40 mg once a day. Therapy should be initiated at 5 mg per day in patients receiving diuretics. And for congestive heart failure, the usual initial dose is 2.5 to 5 mg per day, and can be increased up to 40 mg per day. And for improved survival after myocardial infarction, the usual dose is 5 mg per day for 2 days, then 10 mg per day for 6 weeks. Commonly reported side effects of lecinopril include, dizziness, hypotension, hyperkalemia, increased blood urea nitrogen, and increased serum creatinine. It may also cause dry cough, and it may rarely cause allergic reactions, angioedema, hepatitis, and bone marrow depression, neutropenia and granulocytosis. Dosage should be reduced in patients with renal impairment. Potassium sparing diuretics such as spironolactone shouldn't be combined with lecinopril because of high risk of hyperkalemia. Sodium or volume depleted patients may experience severe hypotension. So in this case lower initial doses are advised. In patients taking a diuretic, reduce the dose of the diuretic when adding lecinopril. Additional interventions for control of hypertension include, weight reduction and exercise, stress management, and smoking cessation and don't use salt substitutes containing potassium. Try to make position changes slowly, and wait a few minutes before standing, to minimize orthostatic hypotension. Report these symptoms to your physician, rash, fever, chest pain, hives, or dyspnea, and if chronic cough develops. Discontinue the drug and notify your physician immediately if signs of angioedema swelling of face, lips, extremities, breathing or swallowing difficulty, become prominent. And if prolonged vomiting or diarrhea occurs, as these symptoms may indicate plasma volume reduction. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.